today I just wanted to come on and do a little video um, talking about which Bible from each translation that I use the most. Now, I'm probably not going to represent every translation here. I hit most of them, but if there's one that you love that I didn't ha that I didn't say on here, it's just because I haven't really been using the translation lately. So, these are not the only Bibles I use, of course, but I'm just going off the last couple of weeks here, which Bible from each translation I have used the most. So, these are, aren't in any particular order, and at the end I can say, you know, which ones I have, like, which one or two I've used the most, but for now they're not in any particular order. So, this is the ESV one. This is from um, Allen Bibles, and... I like this one because it's nice and small and portable. So I've been using that one um, on the go because I'm a teacher. So I've recently gone back to work full time. So I'm on the go a lot more lately. So this is one that I can um, put in a case and take along with me on the go. So that's the Allen ESV one. Um, I do have my, my ESV journaling Bible. Um, full disclosure, I'm trying to do the Heart Dive 365 videos with those. I've not been as good as at that since I've gone back to work just because I've said this before. They're wonderful. It's a really great plan. But some of the videos are like close to an hour. And sometimes I want to do other devotions and other studies too. So I don't get to it every single day. But I am still doing that too in case anyone was wondering why I didn't have my journaling Bible in this stack. Just haven't been as good since I went back to work. But hopefully at least on the weekends I can catch up a little more. Anyway, this is the NASB 2020 single column personal size. This Bible's from Holman. Again, I choose this one because it's a good reader. Um, it's something I can keep near my bedside. It's nice and portable. I can take it on the go. And it's just one that I can um, pop open quick and read for whatever or study, whatever my purpose is. So I've been using that one a lot. And then this one is New King James Version. This is the large print reference McLaren Bible. Um, so just, again, this is, I've been using this one a lot lately. I just love the bold font. Sometimes at the end of the day, you know, I'm tired. My head might hurt a little bit. I just, you know, might not be at my best. So I like this one because the font's really nice and bold. So it's really easy for me to read. It's not hard on my eyes. So that's one I've been picking up a lot lately. Okay, so I'm still going through my study on Revelation right now. I mentioned that in my last um, video of my personal studies. I'm almost done. I have a couple more chapters yet, but I'm almost done. But a lot of that has been done using my CSB Study Bible for Women. I love the CSB translation. And this is a beautiful Bible that I've had for a while now. So I was like, you know, I haven't, I haven't pulled this one out for a while. And I've always really loved it. So thought I should do that. So I've been using this one a lot lately as well for that study. And that's why I'm behind on my heart dive videos because I've been studying Revelation lately. And then this is the NLT Quintel from Schuyler Bibles. This is my church Bible. So that's why I use this one. This is the one I carry with me to church every week. I have a little purple case for it. And I follow along with this one and just really love it. Again, nice, bold font, easy to read. Um, great option for me there. Okay, and then... This one is the readable Bible. That's what it's actually called. So it's not any of the main translations. But I've been curious about this one. I have, I've reviewed it before and I have used it some. But I wanted to use it more because I wanted to try to get into it and see, you know, what all it has to offer and what the translation is like. I still want to get, I still want to use it more. Like I said, I've been using it more frequently. But I want to get into it on an even more regular basis. But I love the charts and the and the layout of this Bible, again, the font's nice. It's single column. Um, you probably see a pattern here. Nice, bold, easy to read font is something that I like, especially when I'm on the go. So this one has been one that I've been picking up more frequently lately as well. And I'll continue to update you on that as I use it. And then finally, we have the NIV Cultural Backgrounds Bible. Um, this is from Zondervan. I've talked about this one a lot too. But when I'm doing deep dive studies, this is one that I really like to use. If you're interested in, kind of, in a study Bible, it kind of highlights the culture of the time that the Bible was um, written and lived out, then this is a great option for you. So I really like this study Bible and I've used it a lot as well. So, okay, so those are the ones that I've used the most. I tried to, there's some others too, but I tried to pick one from each of the different translations that have be, are being used the most. 
So which ones win the day that are being used the most frequently? Let's see, surprisingly? I mean, not surprisingly, because it's a really good Bible, but it's not one that I featured a lot on the channel, but it's been this one. It's been the NKJV um, large print reference McLaren Bible. This past week, I had it by my bedside, and that's the one I was just grabbing the most frequently. For devotionals, I've been doing New Morning Mercies. If I'm having a day that's, I'm not going to have a lot of time to do a deep study, I get my New Morning Mercies devotional, and then it has some scripture to look up to go along with the daily devotional, so I've been using this one for that. So that's probably what I've been doing the most frequently this week, or... I'm also doing the Grace Bible Reading Plan. I think I mentioned that before, too, from How to Faith a Life. So I've been using that one this week for that as well. And then for study, it would probably be the CSB Study Bible for women these last few weeks because, like I said, I've been using it to go through Revelation. So that's the one I've been grabbing for that most often. Hmm, and then I would say, pro I guess I would go with the N NLT Quintel because I'm taking that to church. So I've been using it at least weekly, if not more. Um, but the other one, yeah, the other four that I showed would, of course, be the next options that I've used the most. But if I had to pick top three, it would definitely be these two, three and mostly the McLaren and the CSB Study Bible for Women. Um, so I'm a kind of all over the place with what Bibles I use, depending on what study I'm doing that day. Or I might just kind of go through my shelves and be like, hey, I haven't used that one in a while. And that's a really nice one because I try not to let them sit and collect dust. If they are, then I'm going to share them with someone because what's the point if they're not going to be used? Um, but yeah, so I just try to shake it up a little bit. But those would be my top three for now. So I would love to hear what you're using. You know, let me know if there's any that you think I would be interested in or any that you would like me to review that I haven't. You know, I'm, I'm always open and curious to hear what you're using and what's working for you.